Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to tonight's opening. The Surging Sparks Pokemon Center ETB Inaugural Opening. But first, ladies and gentlemen, if you would like to win the Quagsire Q, one of one Surging Sparks edition, that's why I circled the electricity, uh, type Quagsire Q in the comment section tonight. Who will be your champion? Let's find out. You. Too many scratches on top. A contender. You. Very clean. Not a contender. You. Shows me a half foot corner. What? Shows me a half foot corner. What did you say? My corner up there is fucked. Hmm. Corner, you say? Hmm. We have a champion. All right, here we go. Here it is. What's going on, Bruce? I hope you all have uh, pulled the five hundred and eighty dollar raw Pikachu. That's right. I just checked. At the time of me recording this, Pikachu SIR is five hundred and eighty-two dollars raw, and three thousand one hundred and fifty dollars in a PSA ten, with one day remaining on auction. Yeah, so uh, we're what three or four days in to Surging Sparks. What are we at? It's Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Two. All right, we're like four days into Surging Sparks. Let's go over uh, my luck so far. So, I have opened one absolute trash, absolute trash booster box. I had two IRs, two, two IRs, no SR, no Hyper Air. So, I mean, it was almost as bad as Rock Sandy's box. <laughs> uh, one retail ETB, three booster bundles, uh, three, yeah, three booster bundles, eight three pack blisters. And 14 blister packs. That equals 101, as you can see. Two hyper rares, one special blah, 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 blah. And yeah, so here, I'll just show you them right now. All right, so real quick, here's my hits. I pulled Gravity Mountain, Alolan Executor, the money piece right here, Lysia's Appeal. This was last pack magic off of six blister packs. I actually, out of all this stuff that I opened, the blister packs ended up being... That, I mean, literally, I pulled a Hyper Rare out of there and Lysia's Appeal. Anyway, we got Keck. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's a Titan. Cast Form. Appleton. The Dog Trio. Stone Fist. I love this Tatsuguri. What else? Two Flygons. I pulled a lot of Full Arts out of Single Pack Blisters. Do, 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 do. So, yeah. So, I'm not gonna lie. This is probably my cutoff. Like, I usually always spend a couple hundred bucks, um, and then I cut off, and then I start master setting. I, from Crown Zenith to Stellar Crown, I have master set everything. All I need is Greedy Ninja and uh, Terrapagos, pronounced like Galapagos. All right, let's get into this. So yeah, 580, 600. That's an old knife. This is a knife. Let's use this. Where's that spot? Here. Well, in, our entry point will be the, the scuff of destiny. The corner of destiny. As you can see. Yep, it's already open anyway. That made this decision so easy. Let's get in there. Get in there. I couldn't have done that with a smaller knife. I promise. All right, well, yeah, $580 for Pikachu. That's a little, uh, you know, BS crazy. But, yeah. What I'm wondering, I actually... So, first of all, I already know. Look, 11 packs. This is going to be 11 packs of absolute disappointment and devastation. The only reason I even want to open this is for that beautiful Magneton promo. That beautiful Magneton promo I was just looking last night. On eBay, um, I put an offer for 40, but it looks like 40 to 50 is what the Magneton Pokemon Center stamped promo is currently going for. 
So, you know, I paid 60 for the box, the promo, I have to have it. And so I either need to pay 60 or 40, I mean 50, you know, all that after tax, or I can just open one of these. So yeah, because I'm a content creator and because I need that Magneton, we will absolutely open one of these. And God, oh, look, I don't need a single hit. I don't need a single hit out of here. I need that Magneton in a jersey tent. Please. All right. Let's check. Let's go right to the Magneton. I'm going to rip the packs. As you saw, I've already opened 100 packs, so this will be quick. I'm not going to spend a ton of time. Here it is. Coming out, coming out, coming out. Which one's in front? Oh, God. The PC TV is in front. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Holy shit. Holy shit. Is this the most well-centered PC promo I think I've ever opened? Oh my god! Guys. Guys. Holy crap. I don't even want to look at the back. I don't even want- look. Ignorance is bliss. This is top to bottom. Incredible. This is my hit right here. I don't- look. If, if, the, if the back is as good as the front looks, I don't care what I pull out of here, other than I do need quite a lot for the master set. Wow! Usually I do this... Huah! Left to right OC. Or top to bottom. With base up. Oh my god. Alright, so I'm not gonna lie. We are off to a fantastic start. By the way, so here it is. The Quagsire Q. Look, it's not my best derpy Q, okay? But look. That's why we put the limited availability on them, okay? I, I, I know what you guys like. I know you. Limited availability. But yeah, so type uh, just like you see, I don't care. I have to actually go through and read all the comments. But yeah, type Quagsire Q if you would like to win this Quagsire Q. All right, all right, let's get to this. Put Quagsire right there, Magneton right there. I'm, I'm, I'm beyond excited that that thing is well-centered. All right, all right, all right. Okay, so. Prismatic Evolutions is not what we're opening, but it's what I want to talk about for a sec. So, Pikachu. Pikachu is uh, $580. I want to talk about that, that the new Moonbrion. I absolutely do. I'll talk about that as we're rifling through these. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Excellent. Okay, so... There's, there's like arguments to be made. Okay, there. Mm. All right, so here, here's. Okay, God, I have so much I want to say right now. All right, so first of all, 32 SIRs in Prismatic Evolutions. I know I'm just gonna get right into talking about pr Prismatic Evolutions, even though Surging Sparks opening is occurring, but that's what everyone else is doing. Surging Sparks is out, but let's go crazy for Prismatic Evolutions. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Riller. Yeah, yeah. Let's do some peaks. Let's just do some peaks. But yeah, so 32, okay, so here's what I was thinking. I've heard a lot of people comparing the 32 SIRs of Prismatic Evolutions. Trash, trash. They're comparing it to the Galarian Gallery of Crown Zenith. Well, let's think about that for a sec. I'm gonna get messy with this. Hollows, reverse hollows, bulk, crap. All right, there we go. So here's what I'm thinking. There's 70 Galarian Galleries in Crown Zenith. There's 34 yellow borders. 32 silver borders and four of the golds the Giratina, Arceus, Dialga, Palkia. So, there actually is 32 silver borders. What do we got? What do we got? It's just a regular ultra or a uh, double rare or whatever, EX. Alright, so anyway, what I'm thinking is it just so happens to be that there are 32 Crown Zenith silver borders and there's going to be 32 Prismatic Evolution SIRs. So kind of, sort of, what I'm thinking is maybe the rarity, the pull rate, is going to be very... Hey, Dragon, I have you. All right, hit's a hit. We're off to a good start. We got the Magneton promo looking good, and we got a... Hey, Dragon. All right, so excellent. Put you right there, sleeve everything later. I don't want to make too long of a video. But uh, yeah, so let's just assume for a sec that the Silver Border Crown Zeniths and the Prismatic Evolution SIRs are a similar pull rate. And let's hope to God that is actually the case, because, you know, 
Who wants who wants to master set that if they're you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Alright, so so all I'm saying is with those type of pull rates, you know, not the Giratina, not the Arceus, but the silver borders, because there's 32 and there's 32. There is not a shot in hell that that new Moonbrion will be anywhere near as valuable as this Pikachu. Because look, all right, here's my prediction. Here's my predi uh -oh, I'm gonna say some stuff right now. I'm gonna hot take, hot take. Here's my hot take. So one, the uh, okay, so the Moonbrion from Prismatic is gonna come out. And it's going to be at like $300. Already probably way too overpriced given these easier specialty set pull rates with a big gallery, yada, yada, yada. Okay. So I think it'll be $300. I think it'll wiggle around a little. And then I think over a few months it'll maybe slowly go down or it'll sit in the three to $400. I do not think this new failure, uh, this new uh, Moonbrion is going to just instantly just destroy Pikachu because it's Moonbrion. Because let's not forget, Pikachu is Pikachu. And no matter how much everybody loves Moonbrion, Pikachu is still Pikachu, okay? And pull rates are pull rates. And, um, yeah, so if people have a Moonbrion, and then maybe they even pull a second one, right? Because it's not near as hard as the real Moonbrion, okay? Not even freaking close, let's assume. Let's just assume that right now. I think we can safely assume that. The new Moonbrion will be nothing compared to the old uh, Moonbrion, okay? As far as pull rates. So all I'm saying is that eventually enough of these Moonbrions will hit the market to where the market value will just have no choice to be, I would say, maybe even significantly less than this Pikachu SIR. You know, whether you love the Pikachu SIR or not, these are difficult pull rates. This is a medium-sized set. It is the chase card from this set. And, uh, yeah, specialty sets are just different. So here, here's my actual... So that's not the hot take. The, the hot take is not that the new Moonbrion will be worth less than uh, this Pikachu. Oh, I was going to say failure, but it's a Latios Full Art. Excellent. This is my second Latios Full Art. So far, I don't need either of these cards for the Master Set. But I think both those cards that I pulled are jacked, so maybe I'll replace them with those. But uh, yeah, so anyway. So Pikachu, I think honestly right now is looking like number one. I don't care what's in Team Rocket. I don't care what's where, what's coming in the trainer set. $600 raw is $600 raw. And this is a modern set. And look, and yes, it is very hype related. It is the perfect time for a perfect popular Pokemon to head a set right when everyone's already going crazy for 151. And they're going future batshit crazy for Prismatic Evolutions. So I don't, I'm not even shocked at all as Pikachu's $580 to be honest okay but what i would be shocked is if the moonbrion ends up being more than that and so here's the actual hot take the hot take for me is and here's the biggest question in the entire tcg in my head this is my i need to know the answer to this question please the master balls the master balls okay so when it comes to pokemon 151 it's one per booster box there's booster box one per booster box very easy to understand failure Okay, so, but in English, we don't have booster boxes, and the Pokemon company hasn't said anything about the pull rates of the Master Balls. So what I'm saying is, with zero information related to pull rates in English Master Balls, it is hypothetically very realistic that a Master Ball, a Master Ball, depending on what Pokemon it is, and the crazy pull rates or not crazy pull rates, like, will it be one per ETB? I don't know. Will it be multiple? Will it be less than one per ETB? Will it be a booster bundle, one in every six? I don't know. Will it be like the Master Balls are like the rarity of the yellow borders from Crown Zenith and then the silver borders are the SR? I, until we know, I'm just saying, it's possible that an SIR doesn't even become the most valuable card from that set. Prismatic Evolution. Okay, so just think about that. Just think about Master Balls. No one's really, everyone's like, holy crap, Master Balls. But just think of what that means. Like, look, if the Master Balls aren't that rare, yay, I don't have this one. I finally got a hit that I need for the Master Set. Not failure. Excellent. All I'm saying is, you know, that, that it's just, it's a possibility, okay? That a Master Ball, like, let's say there's a, all the Evolutions have Master Balls, and it's like super hard. Anyway, that's my biggest question in this hobby right now is what the hell 
are the pull rates going to be on those master balls? All right, so we got five left. We got five left, uh, which means we've opened six and we got three hits or so one out of every two. We got a full art, we got an A spec, we got an EX. So far, a nice little smorgasbord and Latios and High Dragon are pretty cool. You know, it's not random like slacking or an Orthworm, you know, like Stellar Crown, Orthworm. It's like cool Pokemon. They're headlining the set, surging sports. All right. <laughs> All right. Any random talking point that I had saved in my head, I have already exhausted, so. See his appeal. I told you. Yeah, my booster box was trash. Like, seriously, I felt so bad watching Rock Sandy's opening. Ugh, his was actually worse. Like, his. This guy, Rock Sandy, uh, the YouTuber, Rock Sandy, go check him out. Okay, car prison binder, you code Brewtoon at checkout. Um, I saw his opening, and then so I went into my opening knowing whatever I pull, whatever happens, it'll be better than his. And it, yeah, it just barely edged out his. I think we both had two IRs, and that's basically it in our mess. <laughs> that's so sad. I did, however, only pay $125 for my booster box, not $140, $50, 60 So that's cool. All right, so a couple left. Do, 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 do. Should we peek? Should we peek? We shouldn't have. We Keck. Nine tails. Red. Okay. Failure! Failure! Failure again. All right. So whatever. Like I said, as long as the back of that thing looks as good as the front of that thing, we're fine. We are totally fine. I don't care. Like I said, that and well, a well centered that was my hit. Me. Yo yo. I got a lot of. Should I bring this up? Sure. Okay, so if you're a viewer of my channel and you want me to make a drama video, a commentary drama video about another content creator, and all you say is, and then you should make a video about it. And you don't give me the details. You don't give me the link. You literally have to make, you make me work my ass off just to figure out what you're talking about. I got news for you. I'm not making a drama video about it. Especially when you're talking about one of my best friends that I talk to every other day. Look, all I'm saying is, if you want Mimic Brew to like throw a buddy under the bus just to prove a point, you better send me, you make it easy on me, okay? Don't, like, don't make it to where I need to do all the research just to figure out what the hell you're talking about. So, uh, you five people that I woke up to, maybe you send me some links and maybe I'll make a bit. Maybe I will. Okay, just FYI. There's two things I do not like being told to do or being asked. One, to make, make a drama video against my will. And two, being asked point blank, buy, sell, or hold. I don't have this. I'm happy I pulled this because I don't have this. The perks of being a master setter, you get excited over Archelodon EXs. Reg. But yeah, all I'm saying is like, look, because like somebody asked me about Pikachu a few days ago and they're like, oh, should I sell it? Should I hold it? It's like, why can't you just hold on to it? Why can't you just be happy that you pulled Pikachu SIR? And just hold on to it for the rest of your life. Have it in your collection. If it goes up, if it goes down, you don't care because you're just satisfied that you pulled it. And this person was like, oh, but I have this big thing I got to pay coming up. And I'm just like, well, then why What? Why did you spend all the money to get the Pikachu if, if you got the Pikachu and now you need to get rid of it to get the money back? It is ridiculous the way people burn through money in this hobby to where even when you achieve your goal, you are like, okay, I need to sell this now and then be up or down 20 bucks but in the long run. It's like, why don't you just... Ugh, failure! Anyway, I'm not going to say what I'm talking about because I love that person, but please stop asking me buy, sell, hold questions. Holy crap. It's it's a lose... Oh, I read the last... It's literally when you ask a content creator, hey, should I buy this, should I sell this? It's like a lose-lose or it's like a nothing-lose situation. It's like the content creator is going to tell you the best overall advice just in general based on their own experience. And if that pans out, it's like expected. But then if, if the content creator is wrong and the car goes up in price, and then, then that viewer is like, oh, that guy's an asshole. He told me to sell it, and it went up. So it's almost like a lose-lose. All right, here we go. We're going to slow roll this. This is the last one. 
This is the pe Wait, is that oops? Okay, so what do I got back there? Eleven packs. I got two EXs. I got a full art. I got a. Oh wait, no, I got four hits. I'm not counting Magton. All right, so maybe I got a good shot at a hit in here. If I get an IR, I don't even care what IR. Just give me an IR. I haven't gotten near enough IRs. I've only pulled like six. I think I'm wishing it was a different ETB that had the messed up corner though. Because I did get two duplicates. Hmm. What? I like you, but not that much. Psh. All right, whatever. Tell you what, let's open this thing and look at the back of it real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. This is what the this was the money shot anyway. All right, I gotta be careful here. Nice loose packaging. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. I'm so nervous. I opened it in such a strange way. Why do I do these things? I only open things weird when I'm nervous. Look at this. Like, what am I doing? What? I don't know what to do with my hands. Actually, that was pretty, pretty, uh, okay, here we go. All right, all right, all right. Okay. So as far as centering, it, Jesus. Almost doesn't get any better. Oh god, I'm so <laughs> I don't want to hang it back. What the f